There's a lot of misinformation about how much power the Nintendo Switch uses, so I'm going to debunk some of those myths with some actual tests here. What I have is the kilowatt power meter, and I have it set in watts mode, which will be great for this test. For those who don't know, watts are volts times amps. Here on the back of the switch it says 15 volts, 2.6 amps. It ends up being about 39 watts of power. This confuses a lot of people, thinking they need a battery that supplies 39 watts of power, or 15 volts at 2.6 amps. But as the test will show, we don't need that much power. All right, now the switch is in sleep mode, and we can see it's using 1.4 watts. And it just had an update. Before the update in sleep mode, it would use 0 watts. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Um, I'll turn it on, though. And with the screen on, power usage jumps a little. Now I'm going to start up Zelda and see how much power it uses while playing Zelda Breath of the Wild. Here we go, Zelda Breath of the Wild running. And as we can see, I look around, it doesn't really change the power usage at all. Right now the battery is at full power. Now let's try it out. Dock. It's docked. Now what's weird about this is when the battery is not at 100%, I was finding that the power usage would actually go down when docked. I'll show that later. But um, for now, there it is, docked. Power usage. Let's go back to the home screen. and closed, and that's how much power it uses docked, with no programs running, and now docked in sleep mode. Next I'm going to use some power on the switch and show how much power it uses when the battery's been run down a little bit. Now I've run the battery down to 80% and I'm going to plug it in and see how much power it draws charging the switch. And with Zelda running it takes about 20 watts of power. Now just as a reminder, uh, 15 volts at 2.6 amps which is the full power that the power supply can give is 39 watts. Now we'll try to plug in the switch into the dock and see how much power it takes. Oh, and also, before I do that, let's see how much it changes if we change the screen brightness. So there it is, change the screen brightness all the way down. Goes down a little bit. Put it up again, and then all the way. Okay, now let's plug it into the dock and see how much power it takes. Now the general opinion is it's going to take more power docked because it goes to a high power mode. So let's see what happens. Now it's docked, there it is on the screen, and it's actually taking less power than when it wasn't docked. What this tells me is it either doesn't go to a high power mode, or it's not charging the battery quite as much when it's docked. Seeing as how when it was docked before fully charged, 
it did take more power. I'd say it does go to a higher power mode, which means when it's not fully charged and it's docked, it goes to the higher power mode, but it doesn't charge the battery quite as fast when you're running a game. Now let's show the power usage undocked. And I'm going to turn off the game. So turning off the game. There we go. The game's completely off and it's still drawing about 17 watts. And now put it in sleep mode. And it's doing about 12 watts. Have the switch fully charged already. Um, it was around 10 watts being used. So fully charged switch being charged should be fine on something that supplies 5 volts at 2 amps. Also take into account that this is not 100% efficient. So that's going to probably be maybe at 90%. It doesn't feel hot. So maybe even higher than 90% efficiency. So really right now it's taking maybe like 9 watts, something like that um, in total. But I hope that clears up the power usage and helps with buying a portable power supply for the Nintendo Switch. This is interesting that I thought I should show is as it gets more charged, it's using less power to charge. And as we've seen, we really don't need 39 watts of power supplied by whatever char battery is charging the Switch. The most we would need is 20 watts of power, and that's if we're going to charge the battery at max speed while playing a game. If we're just playing the game, when the switch is fully charged, it takes about 10 watts. So something supplying 5 volts at 2 amps should be good. We have something that supplies 5 volts at 3 amps. That's 15 watts of power. That should be plenty to power the switch while we play a game. Just make sure that your battery does supply full 5 volts and we'll do 3 amps because some say they will but they don't. Now my theory on why the switch says it needs so much power is because if you have it docked and it's charging and it's playing a game and you have something plugged into the USB 3.0 port here you need some extra power for that USB 3.0 port to power whatever's plugged in and then it might draw the full 15 volts at 2.6 amps. Other than that, you don't need that much power to power the switch. I hope that helps out. Happy gaming.